Welcome back to Vancouver Drywallery Carpenter. So, dish soap in the mud. Is this a good idea? Should we try this? I've heard about this for ages, but I've just like, I've never been willing to try it. Apparently, what it's supposed to do is make it a little smoother, make you get less bubbles, less porosity. But um, I've always thought that this is really risky because why would I add something that makes things more slippery and less adhesive. So the two things that I worry about is that it's gonna stick less to the wall and that paint is not gonna bond to it properly. So that's why I've always been terrified to try it. Even though bubbles are a total pain, I've just been super nervous to ever try it, but we're back in my own garage on the wall project that never ends. You guys, you've only seen half the garage. We're on the other side now. We could just keep going with garage videos. Anyways, what I'm thinking of doing is, I haven't coated this yet, it's only taped. So I will do regular mud for the first half and then I'm gonna add the soap for the second half. And usually when you're coating drywall, the coat that gives you the most problems is your second coat. So once this is all dry and I sand it and put my second coat on, that's when I get the worst bubbles. And I'm really interested to see if this makes any difference or if it's just an old drywaller's tale. Okay, you guys, I have my daughter helping film this. So if anything goes wrong, we can blame her for <laughs> messing up the shot. You're welcome. In advance. Yeah. And we have annoying hedge trimming in the background. I don't know if you guys can hear it. It's been going on for two days now. Head trimming. Head trimming. They're um, okay. shaving so, heads. Get up close, if you can, closer, so you can actually see the texture of this. How it's going on, what it looks like. It's not bad. I've got it mixed really thick so that it doesn't bubble so bad. But I, like I mentioned, I don't get bad problems with bubbles on the first coat. Spread mud. You getting too close there? No. Okay. You want me to? No. I'll take your word for it. If you ruin this video. I ruin the video. Yeah. Then we don't get paid. Mm. Will you pay me for this? Maybe a little bit. <laughs> if you do a good job, if you ruin the video, I'll take away money from you. Okay, okay get back, get back. Okay, okay. I can't even see what's happening. I can though. <laughs> okay. I'm not doing dinner or anything. Okay, so I'm about to start doing finished passes here. All right, feather those edges. This is an annoying little spot. It looks annoying. Yeah. Nobody said this job was easy. Or fun, you weirdos. Mm -hmm. Like doing this. I was one of those weirdos that likes doing this. Are you not? Still? Well, I don't know. It's okay. What does it look like? Are you just watching like my back? No, I can see your hands. Okay, good. Shut it, I'm filming for dad. <laughs> She's busy. I'm busy. Also, don't talk to your sister that way. <laughs> okay, let's get up close and personal. So, I mean, a little bit of porosity, nothing crazy. Nothing out of the ordinary, because I haven't done anything out of the ordinary yet. Yeah, just porosity where it's the thickest. She's back. <laughs> ah. <laughs> ah. I've dropped this trowel a bunch of times, and like, it still hasn't dented or bent. Oh, 
almost looks like it's bent a bit there. No, that's fine. All right, you guys, we got Dawn. It's either Dawn or Sunlight. That's what all the old drywallers said to use. I have a hard time imagining how something this bubbly is going to help. Um, and they always just said, add a squirt. So, like, what is a squirt? I don't know how much a squirt is. Anyways. Hopefully that wasn't too much. I really don't want to do any more than that. And uh, I'm not even going to add water. I'm just going to try and get this mixed in. Okay, that, sh that should be thoroughly mixed. I think this is a harebrained idea. I would not do this on a customer's job. If you do add soap to your mud, let me know in the comments. Why do you do it? And tell me how I'm dumb and it's never failed you. Oh, you already did, right. Okay, here goes. I mean, it looks the same. I really don't think we're going to see much on this coat yet. It's going to be the final coat if there is a difference. I mean, it's definitely a tiny bit slicker. I didn't really add much, if any, water there, but I can feel it that it's a bit slicker. It smells better too. Like I could smell the soap in this. Which means I'm I didn't smell it. Yeah, come smell the mud. Yeah, <laughs> smells like dishes. <laughs> <laughs> right now, in terms of porosity, it doesn't appear to be doing anything. Still plenty of bubbles, but I haven't done any of my final passes. I feel like you're so close to me. Who knows, maybe you'll be the new filmer. Okay. Now everybody's always like, Ben, why don't you take the plugs out? It's so quick and easy. Yeah, but it's even quicker and easier not to. Yep. Guys just, I don't know. Why don't you realize I don't do electrical? Ah, it does smell good. Mm -hmm. I can smell it from here, just a little bit. It'll be interesting to know if it does anything to the paint adhesion with that much soap in there. But I don't know if I'm gonna do that on this video. It definitely, I, I can feel it sliding across that wall better, which I'm not very happy about because if it's sliding across that wall better, that means it's not sticking to the wall as much. And take the plug out. No! <laughs> this is an annoying spot with all these different things in the way. I bet. Wouldn't be annoying if you took the plugs out. <laughs> <laughs> it's still not as annoying as those comments. Okay. Well, I guess we should get an up close look at that. Okay, so I would say there's marginally less porosity, but like... Marginally? Yeah, marginally less porosity. Thanks, peanut gallery. <laughs> 
but I wouldn't really say that it's worth the risk of adding the glue. I mean, not glue, I'm taking away the glue by adding the soap. A little bit better. Mother, Definitely you... not worth it on your first coat. Mother dearest. All right, so like I was saying, we gotta wait till tomorrow to really see what it's like. I, the main thing, it just sort of felt like I added a little bit more water without having to make it a lot thinner. I think I added too much. Like how much I can smell it alarms me. But maybe that's just, you know, that's just the power of petrochemical parfums. You guys know that stuff? Parfum, P-A-R-F-U-M. That is not perfume, it's a petrochemical. All that parfum in your soaps. I don't know, man. Don't know about that stuff. Wait, what happened? This is now Vancouver Hippie. It's not Vancouver mm -hmm. Carpentry Drywaller. Mm -hmm. Isn't that like the same thing? Okay, I gotta go. We'll cut to tomorrow. Okay, you guys, had the fan on this overnight, so it's doing great. Hey, uh, what, what do you guys think about this, uh, the new fit for Vancouver Carpenter? This is Vancouver Carpenter Sport Edition. Uh, I gotta thin this mud down a little bit. And also, we have a new filmer today. Today is my wife, not my very chatty daughter. But yeah, this is too thick. Way too thick for skim coating. This should be good. Pretty wet, but the wall will pull out most of the moisture. This is nice. We don't have quite the same sunlight coming in, but a whole lot less of that hedge trimmer coming in. That was annoying. I'm sure they'll come back at like 4 p.m. and do that again from like four till eight, like they did the last two days. Let's see how this goes. We got this side that had no soap in it. I don't think it's gonna make any difference as to how it coats, whether it had soap in it. Um, but anyways, let's see, I can still smell it. All right, it's still bubbling like crazy, instantly. So this is the coat that I was talking about. Like, it always bubbles. So I haven't tried doing any of my finished passes yet. So I really can't determine whether or not there was any benefit to adding something that could be such a liability to the actual craftsmanship. I wish I had a fast, easy spot to coat, but then again, Probably good for you guys to see how to handle real world annoying spots. And if you're wondering, getting back to these plugs, they have electrical tape wrapped around them so I can be a little bit more um, indiscriminate around how much I'm banging onto these because normally you'd have those little bolts right there that would shock you if you touched it. Anyways, that's one little hack you can do. The electricians kindly did that for me. Okay, it's definitely wiping out fairly easy. Like it's not taking... Uh, still bubbling right here. Get right up close here if you can. Let's see what it's doing. Ah. Might be marginally better, but it's, again, in my opinion, so far, not so much better that it's actually worth it. When you're getting bubbles, sometimes it helps to wipe in the other direction. That helps to fill them. Because when you only push in one direction, there's still a pocket of mud in there on one side of all the tiny little holes. And it's not until you push the mud the other direction that that air can come out and the other side of those tiny little holes gets filled full of mud. So, you know, that's how and why I wipe both directions. Yeah, it's marginally better, just a little bit. 
for the third time. Yeah. Slightly better, but I wouldn't do this. This benefit hasn't been enough to warrant the risk of what could potentially happen from adding soap to your mud, which again would be adhesion issues to the wall and with the paint. And I've also heard that it really stings your eyes when you're sanding ceilings and the dust goes in your eyes. So that's another downside to doing this method. Hopefully that wind isn't messing up the mic. My cat ate my lapel mic. You know, you guys usually see I have one here. My cat chewed on the wires and killed it. We have a kitten, so that's why I'm using this mic. That's why there's been more echo in the video. Okay, so, so far, the number one benefit is the smell. That's the major benefit to adding soap to your mud. Especially if you have like a rotten bucket of mud and you use maybe some of that antibacterial dish soap, that could probably help. Either that or you start creating super bugs in your mud. I think that's the second super hippie-ish thing I've said in this video so far. I can't remember what the first one was, that was yesterday. Yeah, I want my my microbiome and my mud to be all natural. Okay, this is the side. I don't know. It almost feels like it's working easier on the side that already had some dish soap in it. Could be wrong, but it's definitely wiping out a little easier here. Really hard to say. Still, I've made it like 15 years without doing this, so. I used to read about it all the time on drywall talk. Good old drywall talk. My wife would see me spending hours on there after already being at work, just like I'm sure some of you guys are spending hours on YouTube after already being at work. What's your problem? Don't worry, I get it. I was there too. I just splashed mud on my face. But it's nice, clean, soapy mud. I still haven't put any identifying marks on my knife so that I can tell which way my blade curves. You guys may notice I'm still always checking for it. You always have so many helpful tips in the comments that I ignore. I don't ignore them all. Clearly I read them. I'm just too stubborn to implement three quarters of them. Sound familiar? Okay, that one goes a little further down. Hard to see. Oh, right there. I mean, it shouldn't be that hard to see. Everywhere that I haven't put mud on the wall is filthy. I'm really looking forward to getting this painted. Right here, there's going to be some little sort of cabinet stuff. We're going to have cabinets here, countertop, workbench, vice, all those dad things that I don't have yet. You know, you got to have a vice so your kids can put random things in there and break your tools with it. If 
I seem abnormally chatty because I had coffee and chocolate before filming. Always helps bring out the, uh, the old camera presence a little. you can even see this. This is going to be another one of those ones where it's like you can't actually see it, but I'd say for the most part, it's easily one less pass. So people aren't doing this for nothing. That definitely did coat out a little bit easier. Soon we'll get the light shining down the wall so we can actually take a look at all this and we can see this silky smooth soapy mud. Looking pretty good. Yeah, I'm almost ready to show you guys my work. There's not going to be a lot to see here. Just the odd lift offs. Tiny bit of bubbles I didn't quite get or see until I had this light shining on it. For the most part, yeah. It's really smooth. I sanded it this morning, didn't feel any difference. It sanded just the same. I would say adding soap does make it a little easier. That's my final conclusion after five minutes of doing <laughs> My wife, my wife didn't see this and just put her like, hand in it. Wrong with <laughs> Anyways. Getting back to the wall. Yeah, pretty standard issue. Just smooth mud. <laughs> Better fix this. Um, yeah, anyways, we're, we're done the video. Like, it did help a little bit. If I don't have any problems with paint adhesion, I don't know. I could consider trying it again if I was like super struggling with bubbles on a job, but I can't imagine that I'm ever going to come across a job that's going to be harder than what I've already had to deal with in the past. So, I don't know. Again, no need to do this. I can see why people do. It was slightly better. I mean, who knows? If you're a lifer, like if you're just going to drywall forever, and it means you're doing one or two less passes on your work and it's not actually compromising the work. I don't know, I can't confirm that, but that is like millions <laughs> or hundreds of thousands less movements of your arm. And if you already have like say um, chronic problems, like uh, what, what's the word I'm looking for? Repetitive strain injuries like I used to have, I could actually see um, there being a benefit, there being a point to it. like. Um, when I had a rotator cuff issue, a, a really bad one, it could have helped. Anyways, that's all I have to say. And on a last note, it was kind of funny, when I was washing my tools yesterday, I could see that there's a little bit more bubbles in the water. At least there was yesterday. Yep. I might have added too much soap. It's possible, but you can see the bubbles are just hanging around a little bit longer. It's kind of funny. Yeah, a little bit sudsy. Anyways, that's it you guys. Thanks for watching Vancouver Carpenter. I hope your project's going well, but I hope you are doing even better. Till the next one you guys. Oh, I got mud on my shorts. Okay, you can turn it off. Uh, turn it off.